My name is Stanislaw Robert Liberta, and today we're going to be talking about rating, sorting, and searching clips in Final Cut Pro 10. So why would we want to rate or sort our clips in Final Cut Pro? Well, just like in some of the other tutorials, that one of the greatest strengths in Final Cut Pro 10 is the organization and the databasing of different clips to make editing a little bit easier and especially to reuse footage as far as b-roll and to find it quickly and efficiently. If I'm editing in Premiere or another editing system, sometimes it can be really hard for me to find the exact clip I'm looking for. But using keywords, I'm able to find them pretty quickly in Final Cut Pro 10. And what if I want to further condense some of that information? So what am I talking about here? Well, I've got this clip right here of the ship, and I shot this with a Phantom drone, the first generation, and I really like this clip. I can assign a keyword to that, but as I pointed out before, sometimes I get a lot of keywords, and I just want to be able to find my best clips. And so if I've selected a clip here, I've got these three buttons right down here. These three buttons are the way that I can rate some of my clips. So as soon as I click on any one of my clips, you'll see that they light up and I've got a green star, a hollow star, and then an X on here. And if I go ahead and I click this clip, which is you know five minutes and 55 seconds long, and I hit this green star on it, it's going to mark it as a favorite. I can also use the shortcut key of F. And as soon as I do that, I've got this green line running across it. So it is now marked it as a favorite. In the other lesson I talked about with keywords, if I mark a clip with a keyword, you know, I'm just gonna say drone here, or let's say beach. Beach. It now has this blue line across it. So if you've ever seen these different lines on our footage, they all mean something. And let's take a look at what some of them can mean. So again, if I assign a keyword to this guy, I'm going to have two lines. So I'll just do beach again. I'll just drag beach in here. And I'll also hit drone. And now I have two keywords on here. And I have a green line and a blue line. Now, as I'm reviewing this clip here, and I have it just zoomed in so we can see a little bit clearly. I'm going to play this back. And, you know, the very beginning of this section, that's not really my favorite because it's just me starting my drone up and then taking it up to the sky. So from this point to this point, it's fairly useless to me. So that is not my favorite. I can come down here and I can unrate that clip. So now you'll notice I just have this green section that's running across here. Now, I have another part in this same clip that, you know, is a little shaky for me. As I'm coming through here, I'm going to play this back right around here. That's a little too shaky for me. And I know I'm not going to use this section of this clip at all. So I can take this and just create an in point and an out point. And I'm going to actually reject the selection. And I can just hit the X button, or hit my delete key. And right away, it looks like it got rid of that clip. Now, that section of that clip is no longer available right now. It didn't get rid of that footage, and I still have access to that original footage. It's just not showing it to me right now. So I can come through here, you know, keep rating my different sections of my clips. Maybe this one is a favorite, so I'll hit F. And, you know, this one, I really like this grass scene anyway. That, that, that's pretty good. The very beginning of this, it's a little too wobbly, so I'm just going to hit I know, hit delete. And it looks like it trimmed my original media. Now, as I'm going through this, let's say I'm going to be doing like a rough cut. And typically, I would just go ahead and grab some clips, drop them in my timeline, and keep moving along and building. What if I just want to make a highlight reel? Well, I can come up to the very top here where it says Hide Rejected. So here I can view just my favorite clips. It's almost like my highlight reel. And look, there, there I am hanging out on the, uh, on the shore there. What if, you know, I'm working with somebody else and I, I, I just want to see some of the other footage that's out there. I can go to my rejected clips and it's going to show me all the stuff that, you know, I originally threw away 
as far as my organization. So I can review these clips and say, ah, you know what, maybe, maybe I can still use this. I can also view all my clips. And when I view all my clips, you can see that I have both a green section and that red section here. And if I go back to that other clip, there's that large section there that's marked in red. So it's a quick, easy way for me to view what I thought is either my favorite or stuff that maybe wasn't the best seen right away without having to dig through all my different keywords right away. You know, I could make a keyword that says favorite, but it's easier for me just to, you know, click on an area here, maybe this section here to this section and just hit the letter F and mark that as a favorite. One other really useful item that I found as I'm going through this, you know, I'm just gonna go to my favorites here. And out of these favorites, maybe I'm just gonna mark here to here and put some of this in my timeline. I can, after I'm done putting my edit together, if I need some extra B-roll or if I need to make a separate copy, maybe a, a slightly different story of this, I can also view all the stuff that I haven't used in my timeline. So if I put in like a thousand clips and I have access to let's say 1100 clips, it would show me every frame that I'm not using currently in my timeline. So it's a great easy way for me to see, okay, what else do, what else can I put into my story? So here I can pull for more resources that I maybe not have tapped yet. So that's a quick, easy way to rate and sort our clips. Hopefully you found this useful. And as you're working more with Final Cut, I encourage you to keep building up a library of B-roll that you can access at any time. It's a great way to organize your media to find it later for clients. If you're re reviewing a piece of footage or reviewing a different project you may have completed, or if there ever is supplemental edits to be able to speed up your workflow. Again, my name is Stanislaw Robert Liberta. If you have any other questions or concerns, you can reach me at stanislawrobertliberta.com. Thanks for watching.